What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Matthew Mealy, MatthewMealy.com. It's a Friday night, back on the couch. Must be time for a one and only weekly movie review with yours truly. So, this week, I've got an incredibly exciting movie that I'm excited about to review. And all I can say is, before I even go any further into it, this movie is just wild. It was a movie I really wanted to see um, when it first came out. I actually saw the preview for it and uh, when in the theater when I was going and seeing something else. But sadly, not only was it not in the theater very long, I believe it was only released a- into the independent theaters. And we only have a couple here in town, and both of them are pretty far away from my place. So I don't get to go to them as often as I'd like. Plus, they're incredibly busy, and you know, since they're the only ones, people are always going to them. And they're kind of run down as well, which is weird. You think they would, you know, update them if that's the only place that shows these independent films. But um, the movie I'm speaking of is called Buried, and I literally all I can say is wow. All, I just want to keep saying wow, wow, wow. Stars Ryan Reynolds um, is directed by Rodrigo Cortez. It is the story of. An American contract worker who goes over to Iraq, um, turns out he's actually a truck driver, um, and just trying to provide for his family, you know, picking out whatever job really he can find. Um, So, I'm sorry, I'm like emotionally drained from this movie. All I can say is it is truly one of the most intense movies I have ever seen. By far the most intense I've reviewed for this. And especially if you have any issues with claustrophobia or anxiety or confined spaces or, oh my God, seriously, you need a bottle of Valium, a bottle of Xanax and a gallon of vodka. It is incredible. I myself am incredibly claustrophobic. So you can imagine how my two MRIs went during this whole back ordeal and uh, th- this movie, literally, I had knots in my stomach the whole time. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. I felt like I was going to throw up the whole time, which I know to a lot of people, you're sitting there saying, then why the hell would I want to see this movie? From my perspective, because I really do enjoy independent films and low-budget films and character study films, this is truly one of the best movies I could see, just based on that. But I know a lot of people don't like those, so... I'm just giving you fair warning, it's not a typical type of movie. It's not one of the typical types of movies that I've reviewed for this show, or for for this website even. But, I personally think it's amazing. Oh, and also, just a little aside, five steps back, don't do what I said. Don't take Valium, don't take Xanax, and don't drink a, a gallon of vodka. Just using it for exaggerative, hyperbolic terms. And I just made up a word, exaggerative. Wow. Um, yeah, because it should just be exaggerative. Where's my brain? Anyway, back to the, back to the review. So the film follows um, Ryan Reynolds' character, who, like I said, is a contractor working in Iraq, whose convoy of trucks is ambushed. And next thing we see is he wakes up buried in a coffin. And all he has with him is a cell phone, a lighter... And a couple other objects that he finds as the movie progresses. And I can say it is truly one of the best character study performances I've ever seen. And has made me love Ryan Reynolds even more. I've always thought he was a really good actor. I liked him all the way back in Van Wilder. Thought he was great in The Proposal. Thought he was good in Just Friends. He's a very good actor. But he also has always played a pretty safe character. Pretty similar, you know, to most of his characters that he, you know, has throughout the years. While this character does have shades of, you know, the macho guy that he's always played, there's so much more to it than that. It is really absolutely incredible. And I don't want to give much about, away about the movie because it is such a suspenseful on the edge of your seat, nail biter of a show, I mean of a movie, so I don't want to give away anything else, but all I will say is I strongly recommend this movie to you, in fact I would say I strongly recommend this movie over any movie I've reviewed 
with the exception of Inception. Um, well, the exception of Inception. That was fun. Say that ten times fast. But outside of, except, of Inception. Wow, now I tongue-tied myself. <laughs> wow, this video is really going to hell. Um, <laughs> with the exception of Inception, this is probably my favorite movie that's come out over the past four or five years. Um, once again, it's called Buried, starring Ryan Reynolds, and I give it a full five stars. I will warn you now, it is a very emotional movie. I've admitted before, I cry during movies. I was sobbing. Okay, maybe not sobbing. That's a little extreme. Again, I was being exaggeratative. Ugh, sound like President Bush. But, um... <laughs> I will say it is truly emotionally just draining isn't even the right word. You are so dehydrated emotionally when you get done with it. It's it's unlike anything I've ever seen before. And I have such an appreciation for Ryan Reynolds. And I heard he went through a lot from a method amp, uh, acting standpoint and actually had to go and through some counseling or something afterwards. Um, but seriously, check it out. Check it out. Like, it's so good. I'm going to send a video to Ryan Reynolds congratulating him on his performance. I've never done anything like that. That's just silly to me. But that's how good his performance was. So please, go check it out. I've warned you as many times as I can. It's kind of like that warning I did for Machete for that review. But this is for a completely different reason. I am warning you, it is intense. But let me know what you think. Um, hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully you've liked all my reviews. Hopefully you don't just sit here thinking I'm the worst reviewer ever and hate my movies. Hopefully I don't have people out there who watch my reviews and then make sure they don't see the movie because they hate my perspective that much. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. Once again, Matthew Maley, MatthewMaley.com. Movie I reviewed this week for my weekly movie review right here on the couch is that of Barry starring Ryan Reynolds. Directed by Rodrigo Cortez. And uh, like I said, I give it a full 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely loved it. So, follow me on YouTube. Please subscribe, comment, and like. Check me out on Facebook, Matthew Maley Poker. Check me out on Twitter, Matthew Maley. And of course, MatthewMaley.com. So, once again, thank everybody for all the support. I can't tell you how many emails I've been getting lately, how many comments I've been getting. I, I truly appreciate it, everybody. Um, you're, you're making a kid's dreams coming true here, so thank you, everybody. And uh, let me know what you guys think. If you loved it, you hated it, loved my review, hated my review, I apologize. I went a little off track on this one. Kind of went off on a couple tangents, but uh, I'm bringing it back in here. <laughs> anyway, I'm out. Matthew Maley from MatthewMaley.com. Hope everybody has a great weekend, and uh, maybe you'll go check out Barry. Peace out, y'all.